One of the most important things you can do every year is plant your seed right. You don't get a second chance to get that planting just right, and that really determines a lot of your yield. Well, corn is not very forgiving, and when we're talking about putting corn seed in the ground, it has to be somewhere between an inch and a half and two and a half inches deep. You can never go more shallow than an inch and a half. If you're planting it only an inch deep, you're going to have roots above the ground, and some people will say, no, no, you can't. Sometimes you have to plant shallow. No, you really don't. An inch and a half is as shallow as you can go. Now, don't get us wrong. You're always going to have some brace roots above ground, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the main nodal roots of the plant. They will, some of them at least, be above ground if your planting depth is a little more shallow than an inch and a half. Now, on the flip side, you don't want to be deeper than two and a half inches because most studies have shown when you're two and a half inches deep or more, now you're starting to run the risk of more compaction, basically creating a hard pan on the soil surface. It's harder to push through. The plant takes more energy to push through, and it often gives up a little yield. Now, the big thing here, too, is to try and have all your seeds at the same depth because you want them all to come up uh, in as narrow a time window as possible. If you can get them all to pop up at the same exact minute, that would be ideal. Then each plant is going to have an equal opportunity to compete and you're going to maximize your yield potential. If you've got seeds popping up a week later than other seeds, they're going to end up just being weeds out in the field. If you ask me, well, what's the exact depth you'd like to be at? I would say it's in that range of two inches to two and a quarter inches, right in there. So you pick it. Okay, so let's say it's 2.1 or 2.2 inches. That's exactly what you want to shoot for all the time. And thanks to some of this newer technology that's on the market today, like precision planting, but there are other choices too you can do a much better job than you used to be able to, so you can get more of that even emergence like Darren's talking about. All right, the last question we get is, well, should my tip of my kernel be pointed down? Oh, we should don't we get that up? question we often. We, we generate that question, Darren. We've done some studies basically showing that if you've got the tip of that kernel pointed down, you're gonna have faster emergence. So we're hoping that someday there's a planter that can get the tip of the kernel always down and you'd have more even and slightly faster emergence. We're also hoping there's a planter someday that can just take out our weed of the week as it's driving through the field. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next. <music>